Hi, I'm Mark. In this video, I'm going to show you how to test the cylinder compression on a chainsaw. Compression is produced in your small engine as the piston moves upward in the cylinder, compressing the air-fuel mixture for combustion. Over time, the cylinder and the piston rings will wear and compression will be lost. A compression test is used to test the overall condition of the cylinder and you do it with a compression tester like this one. The first step to test our chainsaw's compression is to remove the top cover and access the spark plug and the spark plug hole into the cylinder. Now remove the spark plug boot and the spark plug. Now I'll thread the end of the compression tester into the spark plug hole. I'll remove the air filter as I want as much air as possible to be able to go into the cylinder. To do the test, I'll hold the throttle open because again I want as much air to go in as possible. You also want to make sure that the choke is in the open position, not closed. Then I'll pull the starter rope over five or six times or until the needle on the compression gauge quits climbing. You can see that the gauge has climbed to a reading of about 105 pounds, and that would be good compression. What we're looking for on a small two-cycle engine like this is a number usually somewhere between about 90 and about 110 PSI. Anything below 90 PSI is going to be considered questionable, and usually below 70, the engine won't start. Most small engine manufacturers will make the compression data for their engines available, and you can use it as a reference to gauge your test results against. With the test done, now I remove the compression tester and I'll put the saw back together. 